Right, so I was uh, doing my review of the MOD knife yesterday and I noticed that I was getting some pretty decent shots of, um, of the chopping action. So I decided to come down here with the cat out to the wood camp and uh, yeah, do a bit of an extended chopping demo for you. Um, so we're going to start off on some really, really, really small stuff and I've snapped that with my uh, thumb. So obviously this. No trouble at all to just take small bits away. And then we move up to uh, thumb size. That has gone straight through, but didn't quite force it through. Okay, another. So yeah, very, very good chopper. Very efficient chopper. I mean, I've just had some of this uh, dead standing off of the tree with it. So yeah. It's very adequate chopper. Um, actually sharpened it so that the the round curve there is probably the sharpest bit. Um, yeah, it just takes it to bits. Obviously, it's not as uh, efficient as a something like a parang, but if there's nothing else. It is more than adequate, more than adequate. So let's go for this one. This one gets thicker all along. It starts at about little finger size and ends at about child's wrist, I'd say. So no problem it's actually just gone about a quarter of an inch into the into the log there as well no problem no problem no problem okay so I know nothing about wood um, it'd be good if some people could tell me what I'm actually chopping but so then I could know what's hardwood and what's soft wood and what to use on it and whatnot I know my metals, but I don't know my woods, unfortunately. Right, so we're about inch and a half thick now. Inch and a half thick. Okay. Still straight through. And this is uh, dead, unseasoned, so it's uh, died this season. Still fairly. Still fairly green. Which is why we've got a split like that in it. Okay, let's try and get it in there. I'd say three splits for this. Slip. Let's try it. Let's try it in a different bit. Okay, so left, right, and there, four. Call that five and a half. Call that five and a half. I'm going to put it around my wrist a bit so I don't. That technique there, I saw you guys at uh, DBK do a whole video on that little thing, which people have been doing for centuries. You put this lanyard around there, grab it like that, and it's like you've got an extra maybe three inches of three inches of blade because you're holding it at the back. More leverage. So it just takes it to pieces. It's um, it's a beast. It's my new best friend. <laughs> I love this knife. God, I fucking love this knife. See, most of my hits are around that area, but I've got it kind of backwards. The front area is the sharpest, so I tend to use that for carving. So yeah, that was just a demo shot. I'm actually trying to split that there. Try to show you.
Yeah. Lovely, lovely knife. I mean, I'm going to go into this just to show you. It's gone in a school breaking distance, let's just say that. Maybe, maybe an inch depth, four inch long gash. The bottom line to that is the effectiveness of a machete or a kukri or a parang with the same weight, I'll give you that, it's the same weight but it's a lot less length to carry there, a lot less cumbersome. Um, a lot of people say it's too big to have on the belt, I have it on the belt and I stick it in my pocket as well so it's, uh, it's dangling free at the moment but it kind of goes in there and Yes, yeah, so it's kind of double supported. Um, plus I'm a fat bastard, so something to keep my trousers up. But yeah, there we go. MOD survival knife, some extended action there.